Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson, lesson 2.6, is on sales tax, tips, and markups. Let's first take a look at what sales tax is. Sales tax is an additional amount of money charged on items that people buy. And if you go to the store and buy a new computer, you're going to be charged sales tax. So if we look at an example of this, what is the total cost of a sweatshirt if the regular price is $42 and the sales tax is 5.5%? We have two methods to solve this question. Method one involves adding the sales tax to the regular price, and method two involves adding the percent of tax to 100%. So in method one, our first step is to find the sales tax. We can let T represent the sales tax, and we can use our percent equation, which was part equals our percent times the whole. Well, our tax is going to be the part, and this is going to equal our percent. Now, 5.5% is 5.5. And to get this into the decimal, we need to move our decimal point back two spots to the left. So our number we're putting in here is 0 0.055 times our whole of $42. When I multiply these numbers together, I get my tax at $2.31. Now that's the taxed amount. We're looking for the total cost. So to finish now, we're going to take the $2.31 and add it to the $42 so that my total is now $44. 31 cents. So with method one, we're using the percent equation to calculate the tax, and then we're adding that taxed amount to our regular price to get the total cost. Method two is just a little bit different where we're going to add the percent of tax to 100%. So if we take our 100%, and add the five and a half percent, that's going to be 105.5 percent. And I can again use our percent equation, which is part equals our percent times our whole. We're going to call our total cost for this now C and that's going to equal our percentage. Now, as a decimal, remember, move that decimal point back two spots to the left to get 1.055 times our regular price of 42. When I multiply these together, my total cost is $44.31. So method two involves first adding the tax as a percentage, using our percent equation and getting our final answer. So the difference between the two methods are when you add the tax. In method one, we find the taxed amount and then add it. In method two, we add it and then multiply. Both methods work. Now, sales taxes are just one thing that we can add to the cost of items. Another thing that we can add is called a tip, otherwise known as a gratuity. Now, this is defined as a small amount of money in return for a service. Some examples of tips include when I go out to get my hair cut, not only do I have to pay the salon or the barber shop or wherever I get my haircut for the actual haircut itself, I need to tip the person who's cutting my hair, especially if I go back to that same person and, you know, 
don't want my hair chopped off. When I go out to eat, same type of thing. Not only do we need to pay for the food that the restaurant serves, we need to pay and tip the server for the service that they are providing. If you're riding a taxi cab, same type of thing. Not only do you pay for the fare, you pay to tip the driver as well for you know not running you through red lights into other cars. Now, one of the examples of this, Scott wants to tip his taxi cab driver 20%. If his commute costs $15, what is the total cost? And I want to go over the two methods of solving this once again. Method one being add the tip to the regular price and method two being add the percent of tip to 100%. So in method one, we're first going to find the tip and we'll let T represent the tip. We'll once again use our percent equation that part equals our percent times our whole. Now the percentage was 20%. As a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.20. And so our tip T is going to equal 0 0.20 times the $15 that the commute cost. So our tip, the 20 hundredths or 0 0.20 times 15 is $3. Once we find that $3, we're going to add that tip to the $15 to get a cost of $18. Now method two, add the percent of the tip to 100%. So we have our 100% plus the 20% being a 120% total cost, which means 100% is the 15. 20% is the tip amount. So the 120% is going to be the total amount you pay. And so if we get that into decimal form, it's going to be 1.20. And so now if we use the percent equation again, part equals our percent times the whole, this time, we'll just call our total cost again, C, equals 1.20, or 1 and 20 hundredths, times the $15. And once again, our cost is going to be $18. So whether you find the tip and then add it to your cost, or add those percentages together to say, okay, my cost is going to be 120%, and then multiply, both ways get you $18 as your total cost. Now in example C, we're going to include both the tax and the tip. Find the total cost of a spa treatment of $42, including 6% tax and 20% tip. Now since the sales tax is 6%, and the tip is 20%, we can add these together to get to 26%. So together, they're going to increase this by 26%. Now, we've gone through both methods twice. When you just add the tip or tax to the regular price, or if you add this percentage to the 100%. And quite frankly, you don't need to use both methods on every single problem. You can kind of mix and match as you go. So for, if we used method one on this question, where we're just taking our part equals percent times the whole of our percent equation, saying that, all right, our tax and tip, which we'll just call T, is going to equal that percent as a decimal, which is 0 0.26, times the whole of $42. And when we take the 26 hundredths times 42, we get $10.92. Then, if I add my $10.92 
to the $42 that it cost, we have a total cost of $52.92. And that's using method one. But you can also use method two, where we take our 100% plus our 26% to get 126%. Use our equation again, part equals percent times whole. So our total cost, C, is going to equal 1.26 times the 42. And this way your cost also equals $52.00. 92 cents. So again, I want to make sure you don't have to use both methods on every single question. And actually, if you want to be really well-rounded, sometimes you should choose method one, sometimes you should choose method two. Get practice with both. Before we finish this lesson, we have one more thing that we can add to our costs. And that is this concept of markup. Markup is defined as the amount the price of an item is increased above the price the store paid for the item. So if you're going to go out and buy a coffee mug for $3, the store, of course, didn't pay $3 for that item. They may have only paid $1 and then they mark it up $2 to the cost that you pay, which was three, so that they can make money. It's kind of how stores work. So what you end up paying is the selling price, the amount the customer pays for an item. So as we get into our last example, example D, a store pays $150 for a portable basketball backboard and the markup is 40%. What is the selling price? We can once again use our two methods of solving this. Method one, we're going to take our 40%, write it as a decimal, use our percent equation, so we'll say part equals percent times whole again, this time our part is the markup amount. So M is going to equal our percentage, which was 0 0.40 times the whole of $150. And we take that 4 tenths or 40 hundredths multiplied by the 150, we get a markup amount of $60. Now again, that's not your final answer, that's the markup amount. To get to your final answer, you're going to take the $60 markup plus the $150 the store paid to get an answer of $210. And just to get a little bit more practice now with method two, we can take our 100%, add the markup percent of 40% to get to 140%. Now, as a decimal, that's going to be 1.40. So as we look at our part equals percent times whole, our total cost, C, is going to equal our percentage 1.40, or 1 and 40 hundredths, times the whole of 150. And so my total cost this way is also going to equal $210. So sales tax, tips, and markups are all things we can add to the cost of our items to get new total costs. And that's it for this lesson on sales tax, tips, and markups. Good luck.